What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off where we left off, Henry Paget had landed on the coast of Danzig and we are moving on with our attack into Prussia. It looks like this should be a fairly simple battle, just lots of musketeers to chew up and only one six pounder artillery piece. So let's attack. So then we can direct our forces towards Austria and knock them out the war and then prepare to meet uh, the Russians on the field because they will soon we now have or we have shared borders with them now we will soon have incredibly close borders okay so they are eh, they're not it's fairly flat the rain's not so great there's no standout positions for artillery so we end up with probably just having hmm. I don't know up here might work so I think I might drag my artillery up to sort of here so at least they're a bit on the bit they're a bit um, raised up, but I may end up having to split my force and come at them from two sides. I have my rifles placed in the centre to move up. Let's probably move. Let's keep some. Uh, let's put. Okay, let's put my dragoon guards on the flanks my light dragoons in the center to help guard my guns one howitzer will move up with each wing and then my general will move up with the artillery no don't worry buddy Good. So now we're all, we're all moving up into a not terrible firing position. My cavalry are just waiting. Let's move my Dragoon Guards up a little bit and then these chaps move up to here. I'd say they are, are they moving out, but actually, this looks like they're just redeploying. <clears throat> so, we will yet, yeah, we will, well, we'll find out what's going to happen. And let's move my general up to probably here. Okay, so I'm going to start to move my light dragoons out because I feel I'm probably not as, not as at risk of, of a uh, rush against my guns now. So, let's. Run my rifles into position. Get all my guns. These are all nines. Beautiful. Unlimber. Then let's pound them for a bit, because we can we can target everything. Although it's probably their guns that are going to get the worst of it. Cavalry charge. I can hear. stakes with my rifles. Good god, lots of cannonballs. Okay, let's have a look at the the range on this flank, and let's have a look at the range on this flank for artillery. I've never actually used targeted fire. <coughs> Oops, pressed the wrong. Oh, it's their ability. Oh, okay. So they better be in range of something. Sorry, Mus <laughs> Garrison Musketeers. You're for it. Oh, they're moving up. 
Excellent. Well then, targeted fire it is. So let's get the guns to start to hit... Eh. Let's move this flank up, I think. Move my cavalry up. My howitzers... Well, yeah, they're fine there. Let's properly, let's more sensibly target my guns. So who are you? They're grenadiers. Oh, my dragoon guard should be able to kill them. Keep hearing the cavalry wanting to charge. Just do it, lads. Ooh, that's an excellent cannon shot there, sir. Let's pivot my rifles a bit. Let's run my infantry and then let's get these guys to. Engage, engage the infantry. Because there's more on this flank than I thought there would be. Let's move those two units up and move you up. So I want to smash this grenadier unit. Going to provide a new target for the garrison. The one of you will ride on into the musketeer unit. So they're being drawn to the crossfire. Mm, no. Dragoon guards are being picked apart by Swiss Jaeger. Poor souls. You will have your revenge. pull the cavalry out because now they're starting to get targeted in the combat so then this flank will move back the cavalry move to the safety of these hills my infantry will fall back good let's get these guys back onto target fire again well getting to fire a will but not Good, and let's trot back towards our infantry. Let's move up to try and engage the Prussians in the woods. There we go. So the first wave of Rus Prussian grenadiers is going to be engaged by my foot guards. Two units of my foot guards. After having taken a royal pounding. Good, and my rifles are in range. Mass round in the centre, perfect. So then let's take good. So we're engaging them in the woods. Absolutely massacring them in the woods, I think. Oh good, it's poor old garrison units taking the brunt. Let's get the cavalry moving again. The rifles are very close now, but it should be okay. There's plenty of units to support them. to draw their infantry within range of my their cavalry within range of my infantry so they will present and fire 
form square. Run, get my cavalry to chase after their cavalry. Dragoon guards go for the general staff. Light dragoons get to the top of this hill and they will charge down into the garrison. Okay, go for the horse artillery then. I wanted to try and make these guys shatter, but if I need to pick up their horse artillery than I will. Good, they're all dead. Chase after the lancers just in case. Smash down into the garrison unit. <laughs> they're retreating back to the safety of their of the center of their line of their general. Lose some cavalry from being shot in the back. Let's get my foot guards in combat. Still after their general. These are just poor old armed citizenry. And there's also a unit of musketeers in the woods. There we go. Large battle against militia versus infantry. Good, and they've routed. So let's take my foot guards and get them out of there. Get my light dragoon just to chase them down. Nope, get my light dragoon to run into this unit of musketeers. Okay, at this point, leave. Because they're about to walk into my line infantry's field of fire. Let's run one unit of guards back, and then let's run up a unit of guards to help support my infantry. My cavalry, sorry. cleared the woods. Generally I think we've cleared the woods. So let's advance up. Don't let my, their general staff run loose around the place. Good. He's been dragged off of the horse by my grenadiers, by my guards. Storm citizenry militia. There's a. No, no, don't attack. Just walk. Let's let my. Infantry gets some volleys in first. If they can. This is the only unit remaining on the field. So it's in my cover to charge and carefully watch my infantry. If they can get a volley in. Nope, because they looked like they were all going to go a funny direction. There they go. Excellent stuff. Let's end it there.
lovely capture of the city himself because he is in between um, Danzig and Berlin. So I could loot it for the money, but what's the point? <laughs> Let's build walls and roads. So you were going to go into Danzig, but instead you can go into Warsaw. But I need to keep an eye out because I'm fairly sure other armies are going to Warsaw. But. Let's take Henry Clinton. Bash him into that, or do I. So Saxony is just allowed with the Prussians, so that's okay. Although they have. Drops an army off here to block me. We can destroy Ludwig Frommel. Then lay siege to Dresden. Or I could just bring an army down from the north. You're replenishing. To be honest, I could just hit Saxony with this army here. And just knock the city out. What do you think I may do? Declare war. Do not call in my allies. Or maybe call them my allies, because I'm kind of looking for an excuse for some of them to break. Oh, they've all joined. Okie dokie. So, let us attack Dresden and knock a enemy out of the out of the well, a a bit of a saw or a boil on our front line. Let's attack. Thing. That they do, Clauswitz, which may be why your chappies are having a bit of a problem. Because right now we've been winning all the battles, except for that one, that one uh, Prussian ambush. That was a dirty trick. Obviously our ambushes were brilliant. Okay, I want to get to the crest of this hill. There's one unit here. One unit I want to advance up to the hill, another unit can deploy up on this up on this hill because they're nine pounders so they've got a well, it's not a terrible firing position okay so let's just let's deploy my costume grenadiers and my costume guards on the flank let's deploy the rest of my no, I'll say the rest of my line infantry I've not got very much Deploy two this side of the guns, two this side of the guns. Let's give them a light infantry on each flank. Then bring up a set of howitzers on the left. Oh, um, General Horse. Oh, no, let's put my put the lights with the Scots Greys on the left. Good old Scots Greys. They look lovely. Then the horse dragoon guards go on the right, general in the center. Okay, so I think the infantry on this flank are going to be in a holding pattern. And so I not deploy one of my. Oh, I did, I put them both both there. So I want to do something like this to protect my guns because we've got quite a big front. Actually one of you go here, the other of you with my howitz units can go over here to support that flank. Then let's move up this line, move up the cavalry up to this hill, move my dragoon guards over to the extreme flank. Lots of cavalry on this flank. And they are pushing up.
I know, are they pushing up or are they just redeploying? Either way, my cold stream is I'm going to want to advance past the farmhouse and close up this flank when they're in position. Oh yes, and Henry Clinton. There we go. Unfortunately, my artillery do have... Well, they've got loads of targets. Okay, yeah, they are moving up. I think they should be okay. Okay, I'm going to preemptively move like so. It looks like they are massing here. So the 85th and the 86th, you are going to have your work cut out for you. Especially once, well, maybe not so much when your howitzers get into position. Slightly redeploying. No, I want to be. I want to be up here. So if I'm going to advance like this aggressively, I am going to then set my guys to run. My cavalry advance up, keep an eye on these Hussar units, but they do have all these cavalry spikes. Okay, unlimber, get cracking. You guys, unlimber, probably be canister shot at this range. Yeah, this flank is very weak. Here they come. Barrage your canister shot. Let's get my dragoons into their cavalry. Should win. I got heavy cavalry against Chevalier. Recovery. They can join if they want, but this is going to be bloody. I'm sure he is. Keep going. Both these guys targeted fire. Although I'm not sure if I have to activate it or not. Oops, wrong button. Okay, cavalry. Wrong cavalry. Come on. Let's get all the cavalry to focus on theirs. We've managed to break. We've got the corner of their line. Mass route of infantry. That was a mass route. Cavalry is winning against the Chevrolet Leger. Look at all this smoke. Hopefully we can win. Good. It's then chopped down the last of their cavalry. We've lost half our cavalry. So let's pull them back to the light infantry. Oh, that's not good. Okay. I want to form a safe haven for my cavalry. Because I've got a feeling I'm going to lose it on the right. But 
we can't focus on that flank alone. So you guys flee and hit the 20th. So the other flank that's legging it. You go square, you go square. Good stuff. So now we've got the advantage on one flank. Roll them up. Our infantry is more than capable enough to deal with this. Oh no. Oh, that's a weak. The weak Chevrolet Gel units come back. We can deal with them. Turn my light infantry down. Get these guys out of line, out of square formation, and get them to move. firing. They've just started to make it to our line. Yeah, that cavalry wasn't unit was never going to withstand. Okay, move, move. Oh, okay, they've come back. Nope, there are free reinforcements, I think. Let's not go too crazy and oh wow, guns hit that unit. Rally and inspire your men. No, 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 no! Damn it! They chased them into a spike. Because now you all stay this side. Now, the battle hinges on getting my infantry back into the game. ready to deal with that strength that high strength Chevrolet Leger unit ok get you guys to form back into line they've taken a real hammering ok let's get these guys to do round shot against the cavalry at the rear Run my run my infantry. So I want my light infantry to be a bit of a screen. So the grenadiers should destroy that musketeer unit. Although well, they are wavering, so. So are they. Okay, let's advance the line a little bit. There goes there comes the cavalry. So these guys need to come out from the rear and then smash into the back of the cavalry. Our men are running, I know. There we go. So we've got them flanked. So let's pull these infantry back. Push up. 
starting to pick us apart. Everyone's starting a round shot. Pound that unit. The guys at the rear. Pound that unit too, I suppose. Now they're winning decisively, which isn't great, but we are managing to narrow to narrow them down. So they're down to 56 men, so we're almost... Okay, let's get you guys into the cavalry combat and let's start to mix. Advance. Push up. And push up. So who's back there? Is that the general? Or is, that, there's a, is there a Jaeger unit back here or something? Go on, the glorious 83rd. And the hearts need to stop firing because they cannot be relied upon. Okay, so once they've. Actually, why don't you just head over there? You pursue them. These guys move up. Only the general remains. The general was routed. Lovely. What a decisive battle. Good on you, Henry Clinton. Let's see what bonuses you get out of this one. Because that was quite experienced. So. Lovely stuff. Just one and a half thousand men. Just half our army. I can't check my objectives. It's tempting to, to liberate them as my... As a... Because to be honest, I've got Prague, I've got Berlin. I don't need big cities on the front. So, yeah, let's liberate them. You are. You're ours now. And we can replenish in their territory, which is lovely. So let's make John Moore move up. Because he is going to then hit uh, Von Blücher himself next turn. Got a handful of troops. Gottlieb Vot. Cool. There's some British Dutch line infantry. Good stuff. What's we got? <laughs> Good old 83rd. It's like a real hammering. So Stettin's reinforcing. You're reinforcing. You're, you've moved towards Corland but can't do anything. Okay, I think... Oh yes, and you are... Getting ready to position yourself against the Austrians. It's, I think. That's, well, no, you're moving there to threaten. Wells is moving there to threaten um, Olmutz. I think this army, once he's replenished, he's going to move on and hit Breslau. But looking at the timer, I shouldn't hit end turn first. Let's see what happens. More recruitment, more replenishment on the go. That's right, Austria. Move, fall back, retreat. Oh, they're falling back to Konigsberg. All the fragments are, which is good. So when we hit when we hit call, then that'd be quite nice because this would be a bit of an outpost to ward against the Russians, and it'll also be able to allow us to hit Konigsberg from the east. So now we've given them lots to uh, lots to think about, lots of problems. Yeah, the Russian navy's moved back. Good stuff. 
Oh, we'll see where this Belgian na army goes. Because that could be really interesting. Oh. <laughs> Stupid Belgium. Ruining our fun. But they are getting involved now. Agent detected. Oh. Yep, still infiltrate Bucharest. Got some mines. So I'm a bit concerned about this Russian army. Like where they may go. So maybe Godlieb come down to join the Prussia, the Prague garrison. Wellesley may go here. Or back to where he was. Because that means he can respond to marches on down through this territory. He can respond if he goes to Prague. And if he goes to Vienna, then he'll just bump into this army here. Cool. Oh, yep, yeah, they're starting to spot my agents. Good. Warsaw's there. What have they got? Six pounders, musketeers usual stuff because they can't afford anything else I think I may move you to yeah supply depot if we move you to Brandenburg one two turns for some of the worst units good stuff Stettin will be done oh yes and Mecklenburg Strelitz yep when war declares on when declare war on Austria that's what's going to happen um, but let's take John Moore. Attack Bluka himself. Because this is one of those bigger battles where you're against the, the key guy from their, from their faction. But looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for, hopefully, the death of Von Bluka. Although I'm probably going to guess he's the Prussian version of Wellesley. So he's dead, but not dead, maybe, I guess. I don't know. But it'll still be fun anyway. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.